Hey, this is Driving with the Miles. I'm a state certified instructor. We're going to talk about how to start an SRT. So, of course, we have a key fob. And these cars are pushed to start. So, I'm pushing the button. Foot is on the brake for safety. And there's that uh, Grand Cherokee SRT. Looking good right there. We do have to get some fuel for this rocket ship. Uh, we're going to go ahead and set up the... SRT performance race pages to let us know where we are so I always like to let the vehicle warm up first got to be careful out here safety is no accident the SRT race pages it gives you information about the engine and also there's a time and a place to use the other performance uh, gauges so obviously g-forces who we're just kind of sitting right now just started it the cars not moving uh, then we have our oil temperature, which is 120 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. We have our battery voltage. If you remember last time, it was 13.9. I was a little nervous. Now it's normal, right? And then the oil pressure is 59 pounds per square inch, right? So uh, those gives you some options. Obviously, we're not moving. We're just letting the vehicle warm up. So uh, we're going to look at how much horsepower does it take to move a vehicle. So we let the vehicle warm up for a moment. It's 35 degrees out here. So seat belts on, we're safe. We're going to put this thing in drive and I, I'm looking. So we're going to go ahead and roll down very slow. And then we get the wipers on. And looking at the vehicle to just move and then we're gonna go ahead and put this thing into snow so we're gonna stop for a moment if you look at the dashboard uh, if we were at the track uh, this is track mode this is all out we're just tearing it up uh, this is sport mode for spirited driving this is the auto but we're in snow so we're gonna go ahead and put it and this makes the vehicle shift in second gear so torque uh, about 26 foot pounds to move it remember torque is to twisting force right if i left my foot off the gas we're just rolling if i push the gas then we're go ahead and go ahead and move so we want to be careful and take our time here i'm going to look ahead just be gentle it's still really slick out here with this amount of power and torque we don't want to be all over the road i want to you know take care of this vehicle and make it last so we're just rolling along and you can see for yourself torque and horsepower and again the motor is cold so just we just want to take our time so this is the interesting chart right here going 17 miles an hour of course it's slick out here you know you're sliding so we want to stop at the stop sign you want to look left right left and uh you know a little trick you can do you can let down your windows this does have tinted windows that came like this from the factory uh this vehicle is from uh our brothers to the north okay i've looked i've checked i'm going to go ahead and turn very slow taking our time if you hit it real hard we'll just spin see it's going sideways we're not trying to do that right so that goes to show you with this much power you can just slide over the road and that's not what it's about if you just gently pop the gas you're all over the road and this is all-wheel drive so you got to learn to respect uh, a big heavy vehicle like this right and you saw the gauges so let's go ahead and go back to the other one right now and again we just want the vehicle to warm up gently and smoothly looks like we're going into the eye of the hurricane it's a joke so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and slow down early so for beginning drivers or anyone you don't want to slide into a car you saw me kind of fish tail a little bit and, and show you how you come out you don't panic you just gently slow down so I'm on the brakes real easy taking my time look left right and left and then I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, make this left turn and again it's it's really slick out here you know and I have a uh, Pirelli's on this vehicle so we'll do a discussion about Pirelli's and the type of tires you should have if you know about Pirelli's they're very soft compound tire and these are all season tires so whenever you're driving you have to assume the surface is, is cold which it is it's ice which it is because the temperature is dropping okay I had to make a right turn here so I'm gonna gradually slow down take our time 
and I'm gonna come into this turn real easy. I don't wanna lose control of this vehicle. I don't wanna slide over the curb, hit a tree, hit a mailbox. That's not what this is about. I'm simply showing you how you drive in hazardous conditions. What do you do? And if you wanna drift and slide, there's another time and a place for that. We can get into that. If you haven't seen my other video on YouTube, I talk about I'm going to be learning to drive extreme go-karts and then we're going to integrate that into driver's education. How do you steer? How do you turn? How do you brake? And this is a chance for me to become even a better instructor. And you always want to better yourself. And that's what it's all about. So I have a nice complete stop. Again, just babying this vehicle, taking my time. I'm looking left, I'm looking right, I'm looking left, and I'm gently turning. If I hit the gas real hard, I fish till and spin across the street. I don't want to do this to this uh, $75,000 vehicle. That's not what it's about. I want to just take my time. So I have my front and rear defroster on. I'm taking my time. Kind of sitting back. You see the speed limit here is 50, but I'm driving about 34, 35 miles an hour. I'm in uh, the snow mode, which the vehicle goes into second gear. I'm taking my time. I have to get some uh, premium fuel here because that's what this uh, motor runs on because it's a very high compression motor. And I'm just gonna do a really light slowdown and kind of baby it. I'm not trying to go in and slide into a pump, slide into someone and ruin your vehicle. Use this as a teachable moment, right? And we're looking at my dashboard and the fuel door is on the driver's side. So you line your vehicle up and then let's kind of see where we are. Let's take a look at these gauges. Cooling temperature is 190. That's good. I have a modified thermostat in here. Uh, the trans temperature is 111, which is good. And then the air temperature is 53. So if we were at the track, the 53 is a really good number, right? Uh, the cooling is good, the trans temperature is good, but this is the winter time and you can kind of tell where we are. I do have traction control off, but I'm gonna have to activate that to be safe. So let's review. I'm a state certified instructor. We talked about driving through uh, a residential area. I did a little bit of drifting to show you. It's really easy to lose control of your vehicle. And no, it doesn't matter if you have a grandma car, or high performance car, or high performance truck, a regular truck, it doesn't matter. You've got to really baby your car. You got to be sensitive. You got to test that surface. I need you to give this a thumbs up. And if you like this type of content, respond to me in the comments let me know i have some great ideas on content coming up very soon so again thank you give this a thumbs up god bless you happy new year